I was thinking the other day about some of the things that have helped me in terms of understanding social situations. It's something that I still face difficulties in terms of understanding social situations and social intents, but um, really one of the biggest things that's helped me is actually having a framework to identify ide intent and um, basically understand a little bit more about why people are doing the things that they're doing. And I didn't learn about this specific topic until I was in university and I paid for it, uh, secondary education, but uh, it's publicly available knowledge and you can find lots and lots of resources on it and that is the idea of conditioning and basically understanding what rewards and punishments do for people and how to use them a little bit more um, just the, the theory behind them as well as just a basic understanding of psych human psychology can really I find just help in just about any kind of uh, situation or occupation as a person with an autism spectrum disorder or a per pervasive developmental disorder I think just having that framework in which to identify people's actions and try to see some of the rewards that they're getting from them that leads to the reinforcement of those those actions and uh, just how how we work in the world a little bit more, how we understand, uh, well, we just expect things to happen and we just assume most of the things happen the way they do every day. I can click the button on this microphone and uh, stop talking and or it'll stop recording rather so I'm gonna include a, a little bit of information some links to get started on learning about conditioning and uh, behavior human behavior in psychology a little bit um, I'll have those links down below in the description if you guys have any uh, questions feel free to ask Thank you all for watching and take care.